What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place to learn the art this beat. In today's video I'll show you a quick way to animate wind movement on any tree model using no plugin whatsoever and stick to the end to see how you can actually save the animation to an external file in order to get more options to tweak and manipulate it. So let's get started. So in general, when we're dealing with animation scene, we want to keep our scene very lightweight. For example, if we're to scatter vegetation, and I know that the tree, for example, is not going to be very close to the camera, I would like to optimize it and make it as smaller as I can. That will preserve the memory of the scene and uh, will make the viewport respond much better. So this tree, for example, if we take a look, we can see it's over 500k polygons. So first thing what I'm going to do is to add a pro optimizer modifier and I'm going to keep the texture and I'm going to hit calculate. This will allow me to reduce the amount of polygons of this object. So now I can set a different percentage of a vertex count, let's say about 25%. And you can notice now that I've cut the size of the tree by half. The tree looks pretty much the same. Maybe I'm going to cut it a little bit more. Okay, 20%. And now I can collapse it to edit ball poly. Now, in order to identify and understand how the wind affects the tree, we need to look at some reference to better understand it. So I found this reference footage and by looking at it, I can divide the movement to three parts. The first one is the leaf itself. We can see we have a very rapid movement on each leaf, very small and fast movement. The second movement, we can say it's medium uh, strength, and this is the movement of the branches. We can see that they move like in one group or several groups. They have a major direction and some subtle direction movement as well. The third and major uh, movement is on the tree as a whole. We can see it swings from side to side and bend back and forth, back and forth as one whole unit. So now if we go back to 3ds Max, we're going to start and recreate these three types of movement. So first of all, we'll start with the leaves. Let's select one leaf. And now I'm going to the material ID and select all the leaf. And I'm going to leave the branches unselected. Now let's add the noise modifier. Let's add some random strength for each direction. And I want to tick the animate noise. So if I hit play, you can see right away that I've added some movement to the leaf. But obviously this is not what we're looking for. We want it to be very rapid and small movement. So let's start and tweak the noise parameter. First of all, let's change the scale of the noise. I want to reduce it quite a bit. Maybe around 20. You can see that it's starting to affect smaller areas. I want to add some fractal so now it moves very rapidly and starting to resemble the reference that we just saw. I can even increase a bit the roughness. Let's increase it a bit more, maybe 0.2. Let's look at it without this selection. Okay, I think it looks 
looks nice maybe we need to reduce the strength a bit maybe three and I want to make it move a little bit faster so I will increase the frequency of the animation let's make it point three this could work for now now let's move on to the second movement which was the movement of the branches now I will add edit poly and on the polygon selection let's enable the use soft selection now again with all the leaves selected we can now adjust the soft selection and bring it up just before it start to touch the trunk maybe it's a bit less I think this is okay now I'm gonna add another noise modifier and in order to see a smooth movement in the viewport I'm gonna deselect the first noise modifier now let's add some strength and let's have a look we're gonna need to tick the animation noise okay so now we can see the branches starting to wobble around but again we don't want it to move the same in all directions so let's reduce let's say I want it to swing from more from up down and less on the right and left maybe like so okay let's increase the scale to about 300 make it more unified and I want to increase the Z direction maybe make it move a little bit slower by reducing the frequency let's add some more left and right direction okay this is looks kind of nice maybe try to add some fractal to it maybe reduce the iteration and reduce the scale a bit okay we can go with it now for the third and final movement we're gonna add another edit poly and for this I'm gonna use a band modifier so with this modifier I can just bend it left and right left and right as you can see and I'm gonna do it by adding manual keyframes so let's bring it to the first frame and I'm gonna deselect or uh, hide the noise modifier for now and let's start with something small maybe like five I'm gonna add set key now let's turn on the auto key let's move a bit over here and move it to about this much I'm gonna repeat 
maybe a little less like so and at the end I can do the same as the start which was 5 so it will kind of loop around let's take a look okay so the tree is slowly bending but as you can see the movement is quite linear there is no acceleration and deceleration so what we need to do is to select all these keyframes okay so we open up the curve editor and let's look at the keyframes Okay, so we can see now that they are uh, moving in linear way. So let's select it and change it to smooth. And now it looks much more natural. Now let's turn on uh, the noise modifiers. And now if I try to preview, you can see that the viewport is not responding much. So what we can do is make a preview render. You can go to this menu. Create preview animation. We can set here the length. Let's make it 250. The size is going to be something like that let's make it a user defined and image quality of 10 let's hit create so after a couple of minutes we have our preview render ready and now you can see the whole movement together in real time let's close it up now if you want you can duplicate this movement that we made to any tree that you like you just need to select all the layers copy and paste them in a new tree object and just remember to make the selection of the leaf at first at the second stage use the soft selection to select the branches as well and at the end make the band modifier affect the tree as a whole now let's see how we can save the stack of modifiers into an external file using point cache so select the tree again and add a point cache modifier take a note that we have two types of point cache one of point cache one in the world space modifier and one under the object space modifier we need to select the object one all right so in here we need to specify new file i'm gonna save it somewhere let's call it tree animation and i'm gonna save it as a point cache to file And now we can specify the start and end frame for the record. I'm going to leave it as is. And let's just start recording. Okay, it took about two minutes to record the animation. And now we actually can delete all the layers below. And deselect all the leaves. And if we scroll the timeline, you can see that we have the animation stored inside the point cache. And we actually can see it smoothly just inside the viewport. We can even change the strength of the animation. We can make it much stronger. 
and we can even change the playback time and offset the frames if I would like to duplicate this tree and make a little offset for the animation so it won't look the same. This can be done easily using the point cache. So just to recap, we've talked about how to use a reference to understand the natural behavior of wind movement in real life. We identified three of them and used noise and band modifier to recreate it on any tree model. And lastly, how to store all that goodness in one point cache file for extra usability. So while you're waiting for my next video, please do check these two over here. And I want to thank you for all your support and appreciate you and I'll see you next time.